Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having the best day ever. Okay, I have just literally landed back in the UK and I've just got into my apartment, maybe 30 minutes, and I check online and it is a mess. Online is exploding right now with information and all of these screenshots and just the conversation, particularly involving Moses, has just gotten so much messier because Moses is now speaking up, he has released a statement, he is releasing his own screenshots, Trisha still nowhere to be seen, not really speaking up whatsoever, which is also something that I kind of want to touch upon on why Trisha has been very outspoken about the things that Moses is being accused of now, but Trisha's not even voicing an opinion, you know, in support or not. And also, Trisha would call other people out for way less than what Moses is being accused of now, but Trisha's completely silent. And also, on like another point of view, like, Trisha always erupts when people come for them and Moses, so the fact that Trisha's been silent now for a couple days about this, while this has been exploding online, I don't know, y'all are picking up on it that it's a bit weird, and so am I. But, if you're not aware of what is happening, Moses' ex-girlfriends, alleged ex-girlfriends, have been speaking up about him on social media, and one of the main ones is called Daphne. Now, we covered what she was saying in a past video, and you can go watch that if you want. You know, I'm trying not to just repeat things in these videos, and there's a lot to get through in this video with what Moses is saying. Now, she was basically showing all of these screenshots about you know, the inappropriateness of that Moses was, you know, with Trisha at this time and he was also messaging Daphne and then Daphne is also accusing him of some things that happened while they were together. Again, you can watch other videos that I've done on those particular topics. But today I want to focus on Moses responding to it because he is saying a lot. Now a lot of people are like, is it Trisha? Is it Trisha on Moses' account? And I want to know what your opinion is on that as well. We can talk about that. Lordy, lordy, lord, there is just so much, like, I nearly drilled, <laughs> nearly drilled there night. Okay, anyway, Moses is responding and says this. So, it's like a social media post, and at the top he says, 090921, so the date, obviously. He said, Recently, there has been a serious accusation made against me, allegation as well. I have chosen to not give attention to it out of respect for the person's well-being, but now the lies have, you know, gone too far. I met this person only once in real life on February 14th, 15th of 2020. She is not my ex. She was never my girlfriend. I am showing these texts to show the timeline of what actually happened. I made it clear that I didn't want to lead her on. And that is nobody's fault. She continued to ask me to meet up with her and have a relationship with her after I made it clear I didn't feel like we were a match. She got upset when me and Trisha started dating, well, after we stopped talking, and continued to plead to me that she wanted to date me and you know, have me not be with Trisha. It's been a year and a half of this person spreading lies, but now this false allegation and accusation cannot be ignored. Please read through the text conversations from when we were communicating. So, this is in regards to the alleged ex-girlfriend, Moses saying, not an ex-girlfriend, speaking up about the stealthing accusations against Moses. So, a lot of people are responding to this and saying that Moses also responded publicly in the same way, you know, to this, as he did whenever there was, you know, the cat situation that happened with him and Trisha and him and the cats and did he get rid of the cats and where'd the cats go and he said no and then all this proof came up online allegedly and it was just a lot of things in life, Moses has spoken up about publicly and a lot of information disproving what he said has then came forward. I am not saying that in any way to shift the narrative. I'm just saying that that is what has happened in the past. I'm not saying it applies to what he's saying now, but it is important to know. Okay, so then he goes on and he responds to that tweet with some screenshots. So again, we see that these are text messages from the person that we were talking about, Daphne. And it says, from Daphne, WTF, Moses said, should I do the same to you? WTF, WTF, did I say about your private life? Moses said, I saw all the tweets. She said, okay, but I didn't say anything private. Also, I'm not going around calling your family dumb or just starting drama. So what we can only assume is a jab at Trisha. Moses said, so why people still talk about you and me together? Daphne said, I don't know. They hate Trisha and want her to spiral. 
And then Moses responds by saying, well, you're the only one to start it. Then Daphne says, you're sweet and genuine and the hate that you got right off the bat was so undeserved about them being together. Trisha and Moses. Moses said, I just wanted to be friends and help her. And then Daphne said, Trisha can't be friends with Ricky, with people. I'm telling you, I've watched her for literally 10 plus years. I don't know her personally, but I know her patterns. Moses, she genuinely needs help. Serious help. And then Moses responds, which is like, if Moses and Trisha were starting to like date around this time, having like an alleged ex or someone at least you were talking to, which is Daphne from Moses, coming forward and being like, your girlfriend's literally insane. I was a fan of her. Like, just to let you know, you're going into that, you're choosing to do, like, how is Moses supposed to react in that situation? Like, <laughs> they're literally being like, yeah, Trisha's like, I've been watching, this is how it goes. Wow. So Moses said, you know that I see the real person inside. He sees the water. That's not what he said here. He, he just said, you know, I see the real person. But I'm like, he sees the water, you know, flowing through you, babe. You know, I see the real person inside. I try and was close, but other people made it impossible. So that sucks. Then Daphne is starting to show a bunch of like Twitter tweets. I never said I was sleeping with you, and they keep jumping to conclusions and tweeting stuff that I did not say. Then they have more. A bit, uh, someone said, T, you sleeping with Moses too? I just know that they were hooking up and trolling. Someone said, you need to go get your mans, implying that, you know, Moses is with Daphne and that they were sleeping together. And so Daphne again says, I never said we were sleeping. I said that they're jumping to conclusions by tweeting stuff. So then Daphne sent Moses a text that said, <laughs> said, you also said you hate drama, so maybe this is for the best, question mark? It's been like two weeks and nothing but drama has came from this. Comments on your page are so horrible and responses are so mean, but it shouldn't end because of some stupid thing I said and an overreaction. All right. And if you need me to say anything, I will. I'll help any way I can. And I never said anything about us having sex. There's no proof of that. And then we have a message here from someone on Twitter saying, please be careful with that Haley account. It's widely believed to be Trisha. She's known for having fake accounts. That's why they're bugging you about your relationship with Moses. So I do just want to preface that along with that, there was a lot of speculating and still is that accounts that were engaging with Daphne online, past and present, are Trisha on like a sock account, you know, Trisha on a private account, using like a fake personality or whatever to try get information about Moses and other people's relationships. Do I personally believe that? I'm not saying I believe it in this specific circumstance that this person is presenting, but do I believe that it's the most bizarre theory that Trisha Paytas would have fake Twitter accounts to engage with people about Moses and or Trisha? No comment. No comment. So then we have Daphne saying, feel free to stop by, make sure to look out for me. And then Moses sends the two eyes, then Daphne sends the two eyes, then they're like winking. And then Moses said, I don't know what that face means. What a man of words. <laughs> Please explain the emoji to me. And then Daphne said, it means I would like to have sex with you. Consensually, man of few words. So then it looks like Moses thumbed up that response about them doing it together. Then Moses said, it is just the way it happened. Then Daphne said, but yeah, that's how the show is. Did you get my card? No. Did you send me a check for my services? OMG. If I could pay you for that, I absolutely would. <laughs> Gross. Oh my god, I didn't know what they were talking about, but now I do. <gasps> no, 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 no. Eee. Eee. Sorry, this is so like, I didn't read this screenshot <laughs> before filming. Moses says, no, did you send me a check for my services? No, 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 no. 
And then Daphne says, <laughs> God, Daphne says, OMG. Do we need to see these? Do we need to see these? Moses, why did you tweet these out? Do these make you look good? Daphne says, OMG, if I could pay you for that, I absolutely would. Moses sends the laughing emoji. Then Daphne says, the best sex of my life. Haven't been able to stop thinking about it. Alright. And then Moses sends the, like, this emoji. Alright. <laughs> good to see. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then Daphne said, I didn't do much, but I was still, and then it's cut off, so we can only assume the great text that that was. Daphne says, WTF, and then they're talking, Moses brings up the tweets again. Now, Moses likes the following tweets on Twitter, but before we get into that, I do just want to say, is Moses denying that they had sex, or is Daphne denying they had sex, or no? Like... Because I feel like Moses is denying that they ever had, like, a relationship or ever did anything, but just posted <laughs> screenshots of texts that were, like, <laughs> best sex of our lives, you know what I mean? Fuck. So then Moses liked the following tweets on Twitter. Someone said, she got caught and had, or sorry, she had feelings and got hurt. We've all been there, but what she's doing now is really gross. I'm so sorry, Moses. So Moses liked this tweet. Moses also likes the tweet that says, Zero proof. Everything that is just rumored is just made up stuff from Reddit. Lying about RAPE is awful. And then another tweet, the final tweet, which says, This right here is proof alone she is jealous of you being with Trisha Paytas. Lying about SA to cancel you is so low. I am so sorry that you're both going through this much bullshit. I am so proud of you for sticking up for yourself and I hope the slander stops. All right, so, now that we're aware of that, this is Moses' side of the story where he's coming up and saying that they've... See, I thought he was coming forward saying that they never had SEX, like sex, but the screenshots that he showed proved differently, so, I mean, I think his screenshots are like, they never did anything else, I guess. I think that's what his point is. I don't know, either way, there's a lot of speculating, by the way, that this is Trisha on Moses' account. I don't think it's Trisha writing on Moses' account, but I do think that Trisha is heavily influencing what Moses is saying. They're together in a household. They're both on social media. Trisha gets affected, quite literally, professionally by what Moses says online. It reflects on Trisha. So, yeah, I do think that Moses is there typing, and Trisha's there on the shoulder saying what to say. I don't think that's the most bizarre theory in the world. So, I think that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the ghost of Trisha Paytas tried to take me out there. <laughs> oh my god, I like, <laughs> I inhaled like a bit of dust and I tried to act like it didn't happen and then <laughs> it got like caught in my throat. <laughs> Fuck, it is literally Fishy Potatoes trying to take me out. Miss Trishy Fishy Mc... Fisherson trying to take me out. Well, bitch, I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> but you nearly got me there. I, I will say you nearly got me. Or maybe it's Moses fucking trying to drown me because look, y'all, it's... I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> me and Moses. Was that good for you, Moses? Run me a check, fuck's sake. Best drink of my life. Oh my god. Okay, so anyway, I don't know what to take from this. I wanted to update you that now Moses has his side of the story out, of, out there because I had given you Daphne's side of the story from a few days ago. It was blowing up on Reddit, Twitter was picking it up, Frenemy Room on Instagram was picking it up. And yeah, it's just, personally, I'm a bit confused <laughs> as to what the story actually is. So I would appreciate if you could like give me your opinions in the comments below and kind of give a rundown on what you're thinking right now because as of right now, I think that the screenshots that Moses showed prove that they were a thing but we're being told that they weren't a thing. I'm just confused. 
I don't know. I don't know. So we can talk about it below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. Make sure to go to the kitchen and grab yourself a bottle of Moses and drink it and keep hydrated. Cheers. Bye. Okay. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Um, we'll talk about it below. Bye.